there are many types of fiber optic connectors to choose from. Since the introduction of the first commercial fiber connector, the Deutsch 1000, in the 1970s, till today, fiber connectors have went into a great journey of improvement and advancement. This was a mandatory growth to cope with the higher bandwidth demand that we see day by day. In this article, we look at the most famous connectors that are still used and at some of the new connectors that will have their bigger share in the future. First, let us take a moment to look at the different types and classifications of fiber optic connectors. Fiber connectors could be single mode or multi mode. All connectors that we see today are mostly physical contact or PC connectors. In multi mode connectors, we have two core sizes the 62.5 over 125 micron and the 50 over 125 micron. In single mode, however, we have only 9 over 125 micron. If you wish to see more information about fiber optics, you can click the link above for an overview about fiber optics. For better performance, in single mode connector, we also see ultra physical contact, UPC, and APC, angled physical contact connectors. We will talk about this in the next slide. Initially, Connectors were made with a flat contact, having a flat surface. The, the PC connector have a slight spherical cone design that gave a great improvement in the performance. The UPC connector is an improved version of the PC connector with a better convex and surface finish resulting in even better attenuation and return loss. The APC connector adds an 8 degree angle tip that results in low return loss in the region of minus 60 dB. The angle has an important factor in reducing the return loss as any light that is reflected towards the surface of the connector is directed into the fiber cladding rather than going back inside the fiber. We start with the LC connector, the Lucent connector. This was developed by Lucent Technologies towards the end of 1990s. Sometimes it is also referred to as little connector. It is a small form factor connector incorporating a push and latch design, providing a pull proof stability. It is one of the most used connector types worldwide. LC connectors use 1.25 mm ferrule. This ferrule is also used with other connectors like the MU and LX5 or E2000. The LC connector is easily terminated and it yields a good performance. It's also a preferred connector for the single mode fiber. LC connectors are available in single mode, multi mode, and in UPC, APC, and PC connectors. The SC connector was the connector that dominated the market for over a decade before the LC. It was introduced by NTT from Japan in the mid-80s. It was also referred as a square connector or standard connector. It's equipped with a push-pull plastic housing design that overtakes the previous ST and FC connectors in its practicality. It utilizes a 2.5 mm ferrule in its large housing. It is an easy to terminate connector with good performance returns. SC connectors are available in single mode and multi mode in UPC, APC, and also PC style. The straight tip connector or the ST was developed by AT&T shortly after NEC introduced the FC connector in Japan. The ST has a twist lock coupling mechanism secured by a metal binote fitment. It is more complex to manufacture and install than the SC and the LC connectors. It has a 2.5 mm ferrule. ST connectors are available in single mode and multi mode. The single mode connector is not available as an APC polish, 
and the reason is that it misses an alignment factor. The field assembly connector, FC, also referred to as ferrule connector or fiber channel, was the first connector to use ceramic ferrule. This connector, as I mentioned, was developed by NEC in Japan. It has a round metal screw type fitment with alignment key that allows for an APC connector configuration. It has a 2.5 mm like the ST and SC connectors. It is known as a good performance in high vibration environments and it's preferred for industrial application and for measurement equipments like OTDRs. The FC connector is also available in single mode, multi mode, and in PC, UPC, and APC polishes. Another connector from Japan that was developed by NTT in the late 1980s, the MPO. This connector can support 12 or 24 cores in a single ferrule. This is a complex connector that is not possible to terminate in the field. MPO connectors are configured as male with pins and female designs. The use of MPO connectors picked up in the latest two decades with higher demand in data centers for higher bandwidths. Single mode MPOs are APC while multi mode are available in PC and UPC polish. The market may be confusing sometimes between the MPO and the MTP names. However, the fact is MTP is a brand of an MPO style connector trademarked by the US Connect. The E2000 connector is identical to the LX5 connector and is also referred to as a laser shock hardening connector, LSH. It's similar to the LC connector in shape, but with a shutter over the end of the ferrule. It utilizes a snap, snap in and push pull latching mechanism. It is made using monobolic ceramic ferrule that results in the lowest loss in the industry at just 0.1 dB. E2000 connectors are available in single mode, multi mode, and the single mode connector is available in PC, APC, and PC as well. The last connector for our session today is the SC connector. It is one of the latest developed connectors in the 21st century. It has a 40% size reduction compared to the LC duplex connector, and it's equipped with a push-pull tab for a better usability in high-density applications. This allows it to achieve double the LC density in patch panels. It uses the same size ferrule, 1.25 mm, like the LC connector, and it's available in single mode, multi mode, and also in PC, UPC, and APC polish. Finally, I want to give some recommendations regarding fiber optic connectors. A connector is as good as its installation. So always make sure when terminating a connector or splicing a connector, you do it in a dust-free environment because a single dust particle could make a difference between a very well-performing channel or a malfunctioning channel. Finally, when choosing a connector, choose a connector that fits your application. Don't choose the best performing connector. Maybe a small form factor connector could be more expensive and better performing than an SC connector. But if you don't need the additional functionality, then it's not the best connector for you. So always choose a connector that fits your application. Thank you for staying with me till the end. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in other videos.